right, here's the neighborhood I'm looking at moving into. This is uh, still in Lithicum Heights. And uh, the house, the last one down there on the left is the one that I hope to get. My application is in for it. It's uh, relatively inexpensive compared to uh, compared to other places that aren't aren't near as nice. And uh, this one has uh, the proximity to where I'll be working. So let's take the side here. What do you think? This one over here is blurred out on, on Google, I don't know why. Okay. Let's see if I can get the backyard in here. We've already come about four and a half miles, so we gotta make our way back, which will be about that far. Um, the park down in here, I don't know where the entrance to it is, it must be up the hill a little further. And uh, behind us, you can see the city of Baltimore over there. Kind of pretty. And I'm hoping that's the opening for the park right there. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, probably not. Maybe a footpath. I thought I saw something more than a footpath here before. firewood here. Maybe a dip for Loki if they're nice enough to accommodate them. Well, I thought that might have been the park entrance, but really just a fancy house over here. Maybe down here? We'll see. Oh, and yeah, we're at the Overlook uh, School here. Doesn't look like any way down to the park. More like the the hidden highway. They hide a lot of the highway highways around here. Let's see if we can take a look down over. Overlook the highway. <laughs> Constant noise in the background from it. All right, come on, Loki. Let's go around the back here. Let's see what we got. So I put some lubrication on the on the fork tubes today, and boy, did it make a difference. This kind of riding is real, uh, real soft now. And look at this nice field. shock absorber because you can see the grass is kind of deep it's hard to see any kind of wood truck holes or anything in here but when it gets grassy like this he likes to open up a little bit certainly faster than he likes to just average on the road and it looks like there could be a cut through over here uh -uh, I don't 
don't see anything, but beautiful trees around here. Yeah, maybe a footpath down over in somebody's yard. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, Loki. There we go. So it's been raining a lot lately. Oh, what do you know? I think I'll trolley on down there. Maybe I could ride that way. Ah, probably wise not to. Can't afford to hurt myself. Alright, we're back on the wheel. Came down that stairway. That's a little steep for coming down. Especially with the wetness. Even the grass has got something covering it there. Um, so I need to find Mountain Road. And I think this road here might be uh, the dead end that goes down the bottom of the hill off of... Uh, Regency looks like it down there. So we'll go on up here. So here we are back on Regency. You can tell it's uh, quite a steep hill here. Um, kind of a nice neighborhood. Very nice neighborhood for this area. I shouldn't discount it. Um, about five miles from here it turns a whole different situation. Nice little church here at the hilltop and nice cars in the neighborhood and I think this might be a dead end if not well, maybe it'll shortcut me down there oh no that's Exeter's that little circle there I guess we're still on Regency here and look there you can see the the city again, city of Baltimore, I'd say it's about 10 miles that way, ooh, a 5G tower, <laughs> a couple tropical plants here, it feels very tropical here, and surprising the hills and big beautiful trees, um, The hills are a little steeper than home, but still pretty nice sight. Stay tight. Nice to have the maneuverability. Oh look, they got a hilltop shaved off over there. Guess they're gonna make something over there. See that? And there we go. There's there's Baltimore. See the big city, big city light. So that's east of it, and over there is the more, uh, more the heart of the city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. Almost a long little, another little dead end here. So lots of little circles and dead ends and courts. And again, we've gone around the block now to the school. And the last house down there on the left is the one I'm hoping to rent. 
And as you can see, it's a very nice little neighborhood to ride with him. And I didn't find the connection to the park I was hoping to, but there's a quite a large park with a couple baseball diamonds and football field in it um, within a couple blocks down there. So there's the house down in the end. And the next one here is Mountain, which we need to go over the mountain to get down to the train tracks across the tracks under the highway and then we then we're back on the other side of lithicum the morning dove up there just flew off there we go mountain road and mansion road okay we're at the top of the mountain I gotta say, all these nice cars around here, I do like the Cadillac. I do think it looks just sharp as all of them. Or more. Cadillacs and Audis. <laughs> and the pretty flowers. Right down at the bottom there is uh, one of the major parkways. Okay. And now we're back to... I forget the name of that parkway over there, but we're back to this side of things. And, uh, just have to watch the train isn't coming. It's going down a little further this time. Cross it. Five. All right, here's a better than average curb shot. A little higher. And, well, parking lot's pretty empty here. I guess they're still pretty much shut down, huh? Okay, we're back to the main parkway here, which is Camp Mead, North Camp Mead Road. And the thing to worry about here is I got a little section without a lot of grass. Um, the bike lane, but when people are coming at you that fast, it's hard to hard to count on them. All right, Loki, come on, let's move it. We'll get up past the, the barrier here. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's go faster. Come on, that's it. Come on. He's learned that I want to burst of speed. He'll give me a little bit. And then here we go. And he likes the grass, so we'll take a little grass here. And again, this is where the, the lubrication on the suspension can just really added a lot of performance to this suspension system. This is so soft and easy now, it's just amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and there's still not much happening behind us, which is good, because we'll take this bike lane here. Although I'll cross it more small time. Instead of riding in it with the traffic up that way.
might be a footpath across there to the parking lot, but I see a fence on it, so probably not. And we got an opportunity across the across the highway entrance. And we'll stay on the triangle here. And pretty soon we'll be up on the on the side path with the grass. Oh, hey, look, let's ride a little bit of crack here. Riding a crack. Yeehaw. So this actually, uh, this is where it's nice to have the, the cut side pads for side-to-side -side action. Stay right in this little crotch here. And car coming, so we're going to take it off the, the primary path and over here on the side. Okay, here we are coming up on where we got decent grass, not well cut, but cut enough, and watch how he speeds up on it. And boy, having the suspension lubricated sure makes a difference. Ah. Oh, now watch him, he's just sad. Uh, wood chuck, so that'll speed them up. We've seen a few deer and stuff in here, too. Heard something rattle the woods when we were up here before. Oh shoot, I seem to have lost the piece of the fender, the rear fender that can loose. I had it halfway in my pocket and now it's gone. Oh well. I guess that wasn't really a necessary part anyway. Without the uh, inner fender, I don't think it's going to keep you dry anyway. Alright, so i to watch these guys. Bike lane and dog grass. Oh, just hit some real slippery stuff there. Boy, if I didn't have the knobby, I'd have been wiped out for sure. There's mud under this grass here. You can feel it. Wow. <laughs> So with this turn here, I'm basically going across and then right on the other side facing traffic because somebody like this guy could come looking around this turn if I'm in this lane, then they wouldn't see me. And then as soon as I get over these tracks where they've got a chance to see me, I'll get on the other side of the road instead of taking the blind spot around that curb. Notice there's not a lot of space over there. And again, it's nice to have the option of uh, taking the grass. Um, Loki's going to want to drink out of this puddle. I have a bottle of water with me, but the puddle looks all right. So, Oh, and look, there goes the train. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, this way. Yep, they move along pretty good. And somebody waiting to come out here. You ready? All right, come on. Come on, come on. See, we're kind of out of bike lane there, so having the option to ride the grass, even though it's wet and slippery, I uh, feel safer with wet and slippery than I do with traffic that I can't see coming, can't keep track of them all. There's a lot of them. And right up ahead, we got sidewalks again. And of course, another curb shot. Oh, look at that, they got the, the curb reduction, but. No sidewalks from there on. Oh well. Okay. So this is the other major half of the neighborhood of Lipscomb Heights. Uh, so what's really fun with this wheel is I do stuff like that. Oh, there went the water bottle. <laughs> um, do stuff like that with this wheel just because it's fun. Whereas the MSX, it would get um, sore on my ankles. Plus with traffic coming, there is a good reason for it. And yes, it's a smile on my face. So having the Kenda on the, on the wheel gives it the ability for the wet grass. And like I said, it rained today. It rained until about three in the afternoon. Um, it's probably coming up on about eight o'clock now. And, you know, with the suspension, little bumps like that are trivial. Um, and with the, the sliders lubricated, it's just such a difference. It's hard to describe. It was like it was stiff before. Um, now, instead of stiff, it, it um, seems to take all the little bumps out of it. And you only really feel the big stuff now. Okay, let's pause for a So I like that little Audi wagon there, too. Kind of like the Cadillac. I think it shows a lot of class and it probably rides every bit as well. Okay, I can see a couple dogs up there. We'll see if we can motivate him to go. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on. What do you think? No, not yet. They're not all that appealing, are they? Oh well. Alright, come on. <laughs> Obviously, they're not as well trained as you are, Loki. Most mighty dog. <laughs> okay. This little patch of grass is funny, tricky. It's like ultra slippery. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it's so slippery. I guess it's just soft. Hard to get traction on it. And I'm pause here. A couple people that I talk to occasionally. Ah, so we just passed. Heather's kind of sweet on me back there. And uh, her dog and kid Andy. And uh, oh, so beautiful night out here. I met Kevin, the guy that lives here. He's uh, moving up just over the border into Pennsylvania. And uh, Oh, nice sunset. Oh, look at that. My headlight came on. All right, shall we swallow the trees? 
<laughs> nope, not, not that one. I got stuck on a root. Okay. Uh, okay. We're out of there. Come on, Loki. All right, come on. Do the grass here. Come on. Come on. Oh, another stop here. Picked up a little more cargo bag of shit. Okay. Ready? Gives me an opening here, but um, right here by the by the uh, drain. And it looks like after this car, as long as behind me is okay. And yes, okay. Down we go. And across. Come on, Loki. Come on. There we go. All right. And now we're out of the traffic and into the beautiful wilderness again. And we'll just cross over as we get to the blind spots. Uh, last night we were coming here, we saw three deer. So if I shut my mouth, we might just see them again. All right, I just turned off the headlight. Last night they were laying right in here. And took off through there and down over the hill. Size of that tree right in front of us. Other ones are bigger.
some more water in the creek. Looks like a path going out that way. I have to step over the guardrail if I wanted to try it, but it's kind of wet for it tonight. Distraction. I had to step off. I was looking around behind me a little too much. These are way up there from way down there. Look at that one. Yeah, I think I'll avoid people with pink shirts and masks. <laughs>